Calthorpe receives from Steins. Up towards full forward, Ablett checked off the football. The kick goes wide. Rusciuto, is he favoured by the bounce? It's awkward. His gather was good. Sweeping hand past McDermott. Ala, the Adelaide Crows. Anderson's handball. Wanganeen goes into Andrew Jarman. Andrew Jarman's little kick to half forward to brother Darren and his mark. You have to consider that he's too far out to score. He's looking to play on at the umpire, who has blown time on, has asked him to come back and kick over the man on the mark. He tries the big torpedo putt. It doesn't work. Silvani waits for it. Punched away by Kernahan. Rebounds to Steins. He gets it away to Neitz. And Victoria are out of trouble. Hannah the target. Hannah makes it. Stats continue to grow. 16 kicks now for Hannah from centre wing. The Vicks needing the next goal. They've worked so hard in this quarter. Well, well done. Good grab from the side. He's got runners everywhere. Ablett short now. Goes for him. Gary stands his ground. Hocking over the back. Off the ground. It's a goal. Scores a level. Actually, there's some really good play on that case. When the ball was on centre wing there after that Boyd kick, Hocking and Grant ran in forward, forward of the action. But he decided to go across to Ablett. Now, there was players on the right there, and Hocking was one, Grant was the other, and now Hocking coming into screen. There's Grant on the right-hand side. They were offering leads further up the ground. Good play by those two players to offer something to Boyd to kick to. 14 kicks and nine handballs for Hocking. So 9-6 to 8 goals, 12. Hogg gets it to Kelthorpe in trouble. Back it goes. It's forced forward, overrunning it for Strigenza. In goes Grant. A little bit of a misunderstanding between McCurry and Grant. In the center. It's Kelthorpe's kick to half forward, and it's been marked by Harvey. Grant, Grant's just getting up in the center circle. He's hurt himself. He doesn't look too good. Harvey goes for goal. A long kick. Nigel Smart gets back, and it goes over for a boundary throw-in as we still see Chris Grant gathering his feet, footing there, and a couple of the trainers attending him. A boundary throw-in in the left forward pocket for Victoria. Scores level inside the last minute of this third quarter. It's been Victoria's term so far. Wanganeen caught, can't get rid of it. Gets a free kick, might have been lucky. From the back pocket, Wanganeen. Very cheap free kick, that one. Can one team have an edge at three-quarter time? Remembering at the moment that it's 9-6 to 8-12. 60 apiece. Jamison runs on for Rusciuto. Oh, bad handle. Grant takes it to Hannah. Still tied for the Vicks. Big Mill goes for goal and has missed it. Bad but miss. the Vicks are in front. The Vicks when, are in front. When you get that opportunity, you've got to make the opposition pay. And that was a bad kick by Milhammer. After a bad handball from Jamison. Yes. 21 scoring shots, Victoria. South Australia, 15. Well, since quarter time, Victoria's kicked 5-11. They've been inactive. Anderson. Platten. As the siren sounds, we're set up for a classic final term. Victoria point in front for three-quarter time. 8-13 to 9-6. Well, what better stage could be set here? A full house playing for the Malcolm Blight Cup and the Vicks lead by a point. 8.13 to 9.6. Start of the last quarter. Wren's big effort. McDermott couldn't quite control it. Scholl backhanded it. It's back into the centre square. Jarman was over the top. Darren Jarman squeezes a little kick out cleverly. Up towards Bond. Collins did a pretty good job on him in the third quarter. Bond pushes it forward. Burke and Brown get back quickly and hold it up with Hines over the top. The intensity has been displayed already from both uh, some players from both sides. The way they're going in after the ball. No one's standing back. No one's got the ascendancy as yet. McCurry had to sit and wait. He did it cleverly out to Brown. Brown away at centre wing. His centering kick up towards Harvey. Good mark for Shido. He looked to be off. He looked to be away. He felt for Harvey. And now goes back over the mark. Now called to play on. Rusciuto from half back to centre half forward. Hines' big leap. Snared by McCurry. Oh, oh, he's he's oh, wasn't he lucky? Lucky, very fortunate. 
Mercury back into the centre. Brown, who kicked the goal late in the third quarter. Out wide for Cowthorpe, running up for him. Ablett provides the lead. Cowthorpe to Ablett. Smart goes with him. Ablett unable to do it. Hannah. There's loose minutes set a half forward. Back to Cowthorpe. Difficult kick for Harvey. Victoria conceding ground. Mercury held up by Jarman. A quick kick away, an important ball. Hocking couldn't take it with the one grab. Dragenta's little toe poke. She can't just sense how very, very important it is there. Right there, three or four chances for Victoria. Now it goes down to South Australia. McDermott's kicked the full forward. Punched away by Langford. Ball there to be won. Neeks and Hines. Langford making a contest. Hines has got it. Hines has snapped shot. Darren Jarman is down. Two Victorian players went in very hard. Harvey and also Nathan Burke up in the centre square. But here we've got Hines. And Darren Jarman's up on his feet now. He seems to be all right. Kaplis coming on the ground. Anderson off. As Hines goes in, that was a great goal. South Australians all milled around Darren Jarman after he tapped it out to his brother Andrew to set it up. Victoria five points behind, 10, 6 to 8, 13. McDermott through the centre, Jamison. Tregenza, high ball, it'll be touch play on, didn't go far enough either. Brown punches a forward. Hulk's handball was ineffective. Cowthorpe to Chris Grant. Back to uh, Gavin Brown. McKay runs him down. Maybe South Australia are starting to flow now. McDermott to Platten to Andrew Jarman. Stops and props. Measures his kick. Kernahan and Langford. Front spot Neats. Bruce, you can't do what Brown did on that instant there. He came back. He should have done the instinctive thing, which was go on to the left foot. Get the ball down. It's a real pressure game. And these guys have really lifted their work rate. Big effort by Tregenza to the pocket. Bond unable to get there in time out of play. Crowd going wild here. Curly Austin, Kevin Sheehan, Ted Witten, Bob Skilton. The Victorian hierarchy. The board being worked overtime. Anderson off the ground. Francis, neither you would think would return, particularly Francis with his hamstring. He's certainly out of business. So the uh, ruck contest. McDermott gets it to Tregenza. Tregenza's kicked towards full forward. Little push, not paid. Mudra off the ground. performed a miracle. has kicked six goals in a wonderful performance and South Australia now lead by 11 points well Stephen Zavani was a good player in the third quarter because he was prepared to back himself in here he is behind and when you're in front you control the play look Modra's in front controlling play first to recover and that was a great goal Well, now the onus is right on Victoria. South Australia have kicked the first two goals of the last turn. They force it forward through Jamison. Falling over, it's left for Hines. It was Nukes who fell over the kick into the forward pocket. Taken by Langford. And he goes over. And they'll have a boundary throw in. Rod Austin on the telephone, down to the bench. So some anxiety now for... The Victorian coaching staff. Langford doing the ruck work with Kernahan. Kernahan gets the tap out, goes to the back. Gatherers by Mercury. Mercury, you're in trouble. Oh, he's... That was a throw. You were caught with one arm. That's and what they... it away with the other. Gavin Brown did it. Mercury, the instinctive thing was to give it off and get rid of it early. It tries to do the second thing. You get rid of it in the club football, but you can't do it here. McDermott's free kick. He'll kick from about 60. Modra trying to provide a lead. Short to Kapler. Now he's a left footer. If he can get around Scholl here or Mercury, he can't. He goes with the right foot and kicks it out of bounds on the fall. So a let off for Victoria. Kapler with one Boyd, goal, two. Boyd off and Cameron coming on. And where's Cameron going? He's being picked up by Wangan. And is he going midfield or forward pocket? Langford goes for distance. Wants Steins to take the mark. Wren did it beautifully to Andrew Jarman. To Darren Jarman. Handball inside. McDermott to Wren. Wren's poor kick drifting away from behind. And South Australia are two goals in front. It's 11 7 to 8 13. Kick in by Silvani and he finds Craig Scholl. 
Shoal in the left back pocket for Victoria. Goes short. Dropping it hard. Can't get past Hines. But got the handball away. Neeks goes to Shoal. Shoal forced to kick hurriedly. High in towards the centre. Great right mark, Andrew Jarman. Look at this. The setup goes to Bond. And brilliantly unbalanced Andrew Jarman. Bond's kick. Cunningham marks. South Australia maybe look the more composed team at the moment. Kernahan gives it away back to Bond. On, where's Andrew Collins? Bond for South Australia. If he kicks this goal in a low-scoring game, it'll be very difficult for Victoria to get back. It's a goal! No, it's not. It's a point. Bond... To the Hines. They look for the Connacht from the supporters behind the goal, Bruce, and they went up in the air in unison. Cheering at home, weren't they? Scholl gets it from Silvani. At centre-half back, the Vicks must get the next goal. To the centre wing. Coming in late, Harvey giving away a free kick. Tregenza standing his ground, getting it. Leon Cameron's going with Darren Kapler. Now, whether Cameron's playing half-back or ruck rover... Looks like he could be playing half-back or wing on Kepler. Harvey in trouble on the mark. Yeah, he's in big trouble, Harvey, isn't he? That late effort on Tregenza. Tregenza wide. Modra the target. What a mark. Right over the top of Collins, who was in the death seat, really. Six goals to Modra. Danny Frawley coming on for Victoria. Modra goes high to full forward, wanting to turn a hand mark, big fly. Hog at the back under pressure, kicks away quickly. Bond's pace has been away for Collins. Modra's handball to Bond. Still with Bond, should give it back to Modra, he does. Modra outside 50, clever to Ren. Oh, well done, Tingay. Stretch, just put enough pressure. Well Gets done, Tingay. Gets back over the top again, Tingay. The fix are hanging on. Shoals high ball. Andrew Jarman in the box seat, he's playing a game tonight. Doesn't he love it here, Jarman? 11 kicks and 8 handballs. Goes out wide. Gets to Rusciuto. Rusciuto is on the forward end of the square. About 65 metres from goal. He puts it to within scoring distance. Right near the square. No mark taken. It's it's a, free kick. a free kick. Free kick. <laughs> Neitz is going up into the forward line. Frawley is taking Neitz's place. And here's the free kick. It's two Kernahan against Langford. Now, what would the umpire be doing here? Has he lost contact the contact lens? lens? Say he's lost yeah. A... yeah, he has for sure. Uh, Chris Mitchell with him. So, pretty good officiating there. I'm sure the umpire's going to hand it to the, one of the trainers. But... Uh, Stephen Kernahan. This is very disconcerting for one who wears contact lenses and loses it because it takes a while to readjust as far as your sight goes. Well, does that make this shot a goal? No, the shot should be all right, but just he's focusing when he's going for a mark. If he doesn't put it back in, he's going to be in a bit of trouble. Well, here we go. Oh, it's a shot. Right across the face, and it's out of bounds on the full. So the free kick in the back pocket to be taken for Victoria by Danny Frawley. Well, similar to the third quarter where Victoria dominated and couldn't put it on the board. The same thing happening with South Australia in the final term. Frawley on the ground, out towards Steins. Tregenza hooks it back. Silvani takes a chance, had to take the mark. Bond back to Platten. Should have gone straight on, I think, Bond, because he had Modra on his own in the goal square and turned backwards. And the kick by Platten out of bounds on the fall. Can't criticise Silvani when he hits the ball as hard as that. Goes for it, backs himself in. So Frawley, the St Kilda skipper who's been on the interchange until the last couple of minutes, goes with a wide ball. Big fly by Hines, he's lost a boot. Mercury's handball was ineffective. Ran over the top. Steins back to Cowthorpe. The little gift to Frawley. Frawley's kick under pressure. And Victoria really struggling all of a sudden. McKay to take it from centre wing. Well, I would say, Don, that uh, since the start of the last quarter, they haven't been over the centre. 
No, that's right, uh, Ian, but the intensity is still there from Victoria. Well, they need to score pretty quickly. We've got down under uh, 13 minutes now. Good mark taken by Frawley at right half back. Short kick. Can he make something out of this? Gavin Brown has marked. Johnny Platten not prepared to give the ball back, wasting time. And down goes Frawley. But an ordinary kick, just off the side of the boot. Good Neats. gather by Neitz. Handball over the top. Here's Calthorpe. Into the action. Gave it away. You're in trouble, Kepler. No, he gets helped out by Jamison. South Australians are away. This man has had something to say about it. Andrew Jarman, one way, then the other. Then gets that right foot away. Up towards half four. And Callahan takes a good diving mark. Handballs quickly. Platten, you're going to be caught. But he gets his kick. Up towards full forward. But Silva Silvani stands firm and has taken the mark. Oh! Great Mark Brown because they were in all sorts of trouble if he hadn't have taken that. He Shit. runs down the ground. Hines nearly got him. He's kicked into the centre and the mark is taken by Rusciuto. Gee, Brown under pressure from Silvani's kick and then Silvani not shepherding for Brown and putting him under pressure again. Rusciuto long, Kernahan starting to take a few grabs. Russell back on the ground. Burke runs him down. Platten out of bounds on the fall. Dipper, what's the story from the Vic camp? Unfortunately for Mark Hunt, he has twisted his right ankle and it's heavily bandaged. I don't suppose we'll see him back in the game. No. Brad, Brad Boyd on the boundary line too. He's going to come on for Victoria. Let's hope they get him up around midfield. They need something. Vic's haven't scored in this final term. Shoal coming off for Victoria. Cameron underneath it. Thumps it forward. Brown trying to raise a gallop. Brad Boyd will get a free kick. Jarman manhandling him and Boyd just coming off the interchange. Now, can the Vic set something up? Mercury takes it off him. Goes with a bounce. Frawley provides a shepherd. Oh, poor kick again by Mercury. Up towards centre half forward. McKay attacks it hard. Tingay can't break the McKay tackle. And McKay does it brilliantly. Gets it to Wren. Wren to Kapler. This is where he's dangerous. Kapler Modra underneath it. Kernahan in the pocket. A running ball and out of play. But South Australia have got it just where they want it. Deep in the forward line. You mentioned Mark Mercury's kick being just a little askew. He had Jimmy Steins running in support just off to the right there. Tackle South Australia in this last quarter, 7-1. to one, And it really is showing on the scoreboard. Boundary throw in. Langford gets his right hand to it. Platten tries to carry it through the pack. Scott Russell's kick across his body. Goes into the square. Collins looking for a free kick. Nothing happening. He'll take it over for a boundary throw in. So in the opposite forward pocket, only about 15 metres around from the South Australian goal, three centre breaks to South Australia and zero to Victoria. Oh, well done. Big tap out by Wren. Football underneath McDermott, gathered by Darren Jarman. And he squeezed a score out of it. One behind. One goal, one to Darren Jarman, but the leading goal scorer on the ground, Tony Modra, with six magnificent goals. And that crowd love Tony Modra. Silvani goes in short. Mark taken by Calthorpe. South Australia 14 points in front. Victoria still with plenty of time. Just one goal for the Vicks you feel will turn this game around because South Australia hasn't been able to bury them as yet despite the fact they're dominating in field play. Jarman over the top. Mercury. Tingay out wide. Burke. This is about as deep as Victoria's had it most of the quarter. Good Ablett. mark. Well, he's a thumping kick. He'll kick from about 70. Nearly gone. Will he go for a torpedo? He does. Doesn't quite get onto it. Falls to within 20 metres. Neats outnumbered in the end. Wanganin. Hannah. High ball. It's a chance. It's a goal. Oh. So eight points is the margin. Wren has dominated the centre bounces. Opportunity for Frawley. Gets it to his St Kilda teammate in Nathan Burke. Now away to Leon Cameron. Little kick by Cameron. The mark taken by Gary Hocking. Players running down the ground. He could give it to Brown. No, Hannah chipped in. Bit of a misunderstanding. But Hannah was good. He gets it back. Good stuff there by Gary Hocking. Goes into the centre. Danny Frawley go long. He's looking down there for Neats. Oh, well, oh, got it. bad luck. 
tackle, McKay got rid of it, Wanganin's hand pass, intercepted by McCurry. good work by McCurry. away goes Nigel Smart, it gets his left foot to it, kicks it close to the boundary line, and it runs away from Darren Jarman, much to his disappointment, and goes over for a boundary throw in, and we've seen a couple of situations in that box where wrists could have been slashed at any stage of the evening, Kevin Sheehan giving the moustache a little bit of a touch-up. South Australia by eight points, eight and a half minutes left. Gary Hocking goes long. Andrew McKay tackled fiercely by Tingay. Good play by Grant, he got his right foot to it. Kicked it up to the pocket, bouncing ball awkward for Wangani. He's left it behind Neats. The kick was not on. He looked for Mercury, in goes Hogg, shoots it here. Wangani should get a free kick, not forthcoming. That was a terrific uh, effort by Tingay out on centre wing. He's done a few great things, Stephen Tingay. The little things that often go unnoticed. 11-9 to 9-13. McDermott coming off two for South Australia. Steins wins the tap away. McKay had to go against the flow. Ablett's left foot for goal from the pocket. Goes very wide and out of bounds on the fall. Viney replacing McDermott. Viney going to half forward, being picked up by Brad Boyd. Ablett with four goals tonight. Hart to bring it back in. South Australia now under pressure. Dominated the first part of the last quarter. 44,598 here tonight. Hart goes out wide. High fly, oh, boy. Can't he About get up? fifth in line. Took the mark. Away to Brown. Brown's kick across his body. Good distance. Up towards full forward. Oh, what a great leap by Nigel Smart. If you thought points was good, that one was better. Smart gives the hand pass away. That's confidence for you. Jamison short kick. Finds Stragenza. McKay running beautifully from half back. Gets around under the right foot. South Australia back into attack. Towards half forward. Frawley in trouble. Overrun by Bond. In there is Collins and he holds it up at centre half back. McDermott now on the bench. Champion Francis and Anderson are his compatriots to see the game out, I would suggest. Seven minutes left. And South Australia lead by eight points. Hines chopped off by Kelthorpe. He's been good in his first state game. David Kelthorpe, he kicks out to the wing. Hannah, under pressure. Wren, well oh, you're under pressure. Todd Viney oh. from Cameron, and Todd Viney held on to will take the free kick. Should have been on earlier, Cameron. Both he and Viney have had little part in the match so far, standing each other in the desperate last quarter as Forley punches it over the line against Hines. You would think if South Australia get one more goal, it'll be enough. They lead 11-9 to 9-13. They've won five out of the last seven. Victoria won five out of the first six in the State of Origin clashes. This is the 14th time the two teams have met since that first one in 79. The kick well back done, to McCurry. Hockey. Good take by McCurry again, hangs onto it forever. He wants... Handball puts the pressure on Tingay and South Australia rip it away. Well, Mark McCurry has made two or three big mistakes in this last quarter. He's just quarter. trying to do that little bit too much. He should do the instinctive thing and let's get rid of the ball. He just can't do it at this level. Well, I'm sure the runner will go out to just say that to him, I would think. It was a wonderful well, there opportunity, goes the runner wasn't it? now. We'll just wait and see who he goes to. Victoria looked to be in there. Brown's lifted in the last quarter. McKay, Hocking, had a terrific first quarter. Goes to fall forward. Big fly by Neeks. Ren Abler put some pressure on him. Smart, good take. Controls the kick. Gets to Hart at half back. And the runner's gone straight to Mark McCurry, so I think he'd be relaying that message. Kapler, back with a centre wing. Thumping kick. Platten and Hogg, they've been together all night. Frawley, fresh legs in the last quarter. Hines with him. Still with Frawley. Hasn't been able to give up the footy yet. He's secured a teammate. Burke bangs it back straight to Kapler. Takes a diving mark at centre wing. Crowd call for him to kick it on quickly. Modra's in the goal square. Jarman, that's Andrew lurking at centre half forward. Kapler's wide kick. Modra's going to have a long chase here. And the ball is wide into a vacant area, Modra's handball, too severe, or did Tregenza take his well eyes done, off it? Silvani. Silvani was terrific. Possession there by Grant was good. Tingay gets the rebound, but kicks to a vacant area, no mark taken. But Nigel Smart, athletic, dispossessed. Ablett, he goes back after it again. Nigel Smart, brilliant, so was Wanganin. Handball, gathered by Jarman. That man 
and he's skilled. He's kicked the right full forward. Knocked away by Hogg from Platt, and it rebounds for Collins. Collins under a bit of pressure, gets a high kick. Close to the line, no mark taken. Kick off the ground by Steins. He's still in play, but Wanganeen is there. And Wanganeen bangs it back towards half forward. Good play, Cameron. Made a path for Danny Frawley. Frawley's kick is a bit of an up and under to a vacant half forward area again. Nigel Smart. Well done, Gary Ablett. Mill Hannah break the tackle. No, but he can get it away to Mercury. Get rid of it this time, son. He goes for goal. Mark Mercury. It's a goal. He's repaid us for the mistakes earlier. Kick the goal. Well, there was some absolutely fantastic individual efforts from both sides there. Players from both sides. This is just a high standard game. Smart doing particularly well on Adler. He's banging himself, coming out to meet the ball. It just doesn't go for him. Good effort by Hannah. Now the first time, this is the right time. And goal what he goes, McCurry. Four minutes remaining, 11-9 to 10-13. Two points of difference, the Vicks are coming home with a rush. Hines, good tackle by Hocking. It'll be Foster's Cup conditions if it's a draw here. Extra time play to both ends. And South Australia are two points in front. The Vicks have come back with the last two goals in this final term. Catler's long ball. Bond has been too good for Collins in most of their encounters. Just outside 50, Bond. Well, he's prepared to play in front. And he is a long kick for a little man just 20 years of age. He's got Wren short. Drop punt right to the goal. Kernahan in the box seat. Comes to ground. Nathan Burke against the flow under pressure. Good kick under pressure. Kept it in play. Frawley overruns it. Russell back to Kernahan. Left foot had no distance. Straight to Langford. Langford thumps it out the centre wing. Hannah goes to ground. Hart misses it. Still with Hart. Tackle. Good. Back to Hannah. Hannah's been magnificent. Probably should have given the handball away first. To Boyd. Boyd's kick this is important to McCurry. He's got Calthorpe over the top. The Vicks are in with a chance. Calthorpe the ground. Swing it out wide to Tingate. Chris Grant goes for goal. Bad kick. Adler out of position. Smart takes the mark. And of course hurt himself too. Oh, what a great game of football. Sit on your seats at home. We haven't finished yet. Two and a half minutes left. And South Australia composed at half back have the possession through Wanganeen. Wanganeen, a great game again tonight. Short kick, running up from defence is Jamison. They may try and play possession yeah. football, but there's still time for Victoria to go down the ground. He's kicked the half forward. Mark is taken by Wren, not pay. Umpire's thrown the whistle away. Platt and tackle. He's got the football. And the umpire will call for a bounce on the back end of the square. Well, in South Australia's Australia. attacking half. They've really got to hold this up now. They can play possession football, and let's hope they... The time ticks away for them.